Toastmasters and welcome guest. Have you ever had any experiences as a project that is romantic before in your life? Before. Today, today I'd like to share my two great mental experiences stories before in my life with you all. The first story was that when I was 31 years old, a long time ago. Very luckily, I could meet my first man in my life. Mm -hmm. At that time, my condition was not good, physically and mentally. Mentally, not only I was very depressed with facing a tough time after a deep breakup with my boyfriend, but also I always felt very lonely and could not love myself at all. <laughs> and also physically, my natural immune system was so bad that I would easily catch a cold very much. However, very luckily, after I met my first man, Simonli, the creator of Dan Yoga, a meditation and brain education, and the president of Global Cyber University. Uh -huh. That the great six DTS members graduated from. Uh -huh. My life, step by step, could be changed a lot through my learning. All the meditation and brain education programs from the basic to the top courses, steadily and continue. Reading his many great books. Mm -hmm. Then, through my mentor, how was my life changing? Can you guess? First, physically, I became very healthy with a lot of natural immune system inside my body. And mentally, I was changed into the person who I can love myself really and deeply. And more precious thing was that I became very bright and positive mm -hmm. and my consciousness could jump a lot from my low and negative consciousness, which I had been confined in a small myself. Not only that, but also, he had me fear our great and big Korean spirit, Hongik spirit, with my heart, very deeply. And too, not with my head. It was a, a really very valuable and priceless turning point for me in my life. Enough to change myself physically and mentally completely. And the second story was about my second man, Roger. Who, who, who knows Roger? <laughs> who I met at Yeoido Toastmasters Club, where I had been a very long time member, over 10 years ago. When he first voluntarily wanted to be a mentor for me, I felt very happy and very thankful to him. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? <laughs> do you know why? I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Handsome? <laughs> Handsome. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> because he was not only an English native speaker, but also a long time and very sincere postmaster, postmaster's member of YD. <laughs> Our mentor and mentee journey began with a face-to-face -face meeting at a Starbucks coffee shop near Hongdok subway station and continued our discussions 
at a nearby beer shop. <laughs> that day, at the time. Creating beautiful and enjoyable memories. During his one year mentorship period, he gave me many valuable feedbacks on English public speaking, significantly helping my improvement a lot on that. Finally, he finished it, his uh, mentor work in gratitude. I gifted him a small gift and a girlfriend at home. By, <laughs> by his request, because he didn't have any, he didn't have his girlfriend at that time. <laughs> <clears throat> My these two great mental experiences were really priceless blessings to me in my life. Mm -hmm. Now I don't have any mentors or mentees at our eating. However, in the future, if I if I get a chance of any mentorship at our ETM, I will do my best for them. And I'm sure it will be another great mentor and mentee journey experience to me again in my life. Thank you.